Hi, I'm Scott Helmers, and I'm here today with fellow Visio MVP David Parker. We're here to talk about some of the most common kinds of diagrams that people use Visio to create. And probably among the most common are network diagrams, organization charts, and flow charts. David, which one are you here to tell us about today? Well, I'm going to pretend I'm in the IT department today. Okay. All right. And I'm going to start with a conceptual topology diagram. Great. Okay. So I'm going to go into the network category. And I should say that uh, because you can see I've got more than the basic network diagram, I am using uh, professional or premium at this point. And I'm going to start with doing a detailed network diagram. The detailed network diagram, as you can see, has opened quite a few stencils down here on the left-hand side. I'm going to switch off the grid and the ruler because I don't need that. It makes it a little bit prettier. And the topology I'm about to draw is based around the internet, the cloud. Now, I, I don't know if this is ominous or whatever, but it does look like a rain cloud to me. <laughs> it does. In this, in this stencil, it does. Yeah. Okay, so we have, we have the internet there. And within our... In, uh, within our system, we've got a couple of web servers because we've got the primary and we've got the backup and failover and we've got a couple of database servers that are going down there and we're going to drop them down and to send that, uh, the signals to that service that's behind there. I'm just going to go over to my network and peripherals here. I'm going to put them behind a firewall because we've got to protect them. Okay, great. Okay. And if I move down here a bit, we can see that we've got a smartphone. Now, the particular system I'm diagramming here has got a user who's using a smartphone, and I've got another user over here who's going to be using a laptop. Great, so the, the basic idea to get started is just drag and drop, fairly just, typical with Visio. So now that I've got my topology sorted out, I thought it might be useful to be able to see uh, a count of what's on there. So I've got this nice little legend shape here. If I drag and drop this on here, we can zoom in on this particular shape, and we can see we've got all of this. That's great. So in not only do I get a count, but I actually get a little graphic for yeah, each shape as yeah, well. Yeah, that's right. But the user, strangely, isn't electrical here. It's not something <laughs> that, you know, so I can actually choose the, to edit this. If I go up to the uh, select on this shape and do a right mouse click, I've got configure legend option. And on this configure legend mm. option, I can go down to my user here, and you see I've got a little visibility right. tick mark. I can just untick that and it goes out of there. So I don't, you know, count the user. All right. So now we have the network topology. What if I wanted to drill down to see how things were actually st stacked into racks in my network closet? Yeah, in fact, in this particular diagram, I've got these database servers and these web servers, and they're in some a rented, if you like, a cabinet or rack okay. yep. within a hosted environment. So what I would do, therefore, is go to again to the uh, network diagram. In this case, I'm going to do a rack diagram because I want to have, I want to have a record of what is in my domain. Okay. Yep. Okay. So on here, I might do something uh, to begin with. I, I, like, I like to have a floor to put my equipment onto, I must admit. So if this was the, the floor and I drag a rack out onto here, then it sits on something. Okay. Okay. Now, these rack shapes, as you can see here, it says it's 42U. So a U is a standard unit of measurement for the equipment that goes into network racks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's a unit of measure. And this is, yeah. I can so see here. Visio tells me how tall the rack is yep. as measured in U's. As measured in Great. U's. You get different uh, U heights from different manufacturers. So this is a very uh, useful shape because it can be lots of things. Okay. Interestingly, these uh, racks or cabinets come in different widths as well. If I was to open up the size and position window here, this tells me the width is a 53.34 centimeters. Okay. Actually, I think of my particular rack here as 600 millimeters. So I can put that in, and now it is 600 millimeters. Okay. Because I'm actually working with a scale drawing here, you know? Right. All right. So we've got a 600 millimeter wide rack here. And now I'm going to put down some equipment onto it. Now, if I look over the stencils on the left hand side here, I've got different rack mounted equipment, as you can see on here, like I've got a server and I drop it down and rather like the rack, it's got this little U. So we indicator. know exactly how many U's it takes in uh, the rack. And again, ah, it's you resizable. Get, it's all resizable. Great. And notice it's got these little red connection points there showing that it's glued. Okay. Okay. It's glued, which means that if I grab hold of the rack and I move it, it moves with it. 
Great. Okay. And I can add a power supply and routers and all sorts yeah, of other got, equipment you know, got too. power strip, etc. Yep. But as before, I'll show you one I did earlier. Great. All right. So if we move over here, and we can see we have a fully loaded cabinet. So if I open up the data window again on the data, and I open up the shape data window, we can see there is a certain amount of information that's been filled into it. Okay. Select on each one. It's a different piece of equipment. Scroll down here. We can see all this different amount of equipment that's on there. Down to the bottom, I've got my uninterruptible power supply. Okay. Good. I've got my switch router, etc. So we can fill in all the information we need about this and okay. perhaps even link it to a management system. That wouldn't be impossible right. either. And, and for that matter, I could actually just run reports at this point. Once I've filled data in about all these devices, the network template has some, some predefined reports that we looked at in one of the other videos in this topic. That's, that's so right. I could do that that's too. That's right. And here I'm just going to shide the, shide? I'm going to hide the U sizes. Okay. And now it's all nice and pretty. And we've got ourselves a little rack diagram, which uh, is just explaining what we have. Drawn to scale. So what we've seen then is that we can create the network topology using Ethernet segments and clouds. Uh, we can drill down from the network topology into something like the racks that are inside the network wiring closet. Thank you very much, David. Great right. overview of network diagrams in Visio 2010. Thank you, Scott.